I want to just bring in this final um, final point about the actual tangible benefits that we um, we saw come through in the business value paper as well. So uh, it the, these are some real tangible benefits, right? If you think about payback, that is top of mind for companies. We, we found that companies reported six more than six hundred percent of um, return on investment. Uh, the payback time was as um, as little as four months for a lot of organizations that is unheard of as they think about these long-term um, uh, technology transformation. Uh, and then they actually saw a 21% re reduced public cloud-related spend. So uh, what it did was that as they reduced this spend, they had that money to reinvest in the cloud on the innovation features. So that helped them accelerate, let's say, their AI journey in the cloud. So it was very much used for uh, promoting innovation because IT got a lot more confidence and buy-in from, um, from the boardroom to continue to reinvest because the boardroom thought that they were doing the right thing. So reduced public cloud spend is actually giving you a lot more money to, or a lot more leverage to, um, to, to then invest in the right cloud capabilities. And then companies also reported um, agility uh, to deploy newer computer resources, more productive teams. So a lot of tangible benefits, but a lot of softer benefits as well, which is very important for the business. What is my time to market? Um, how productive is my DevOps team? Can I retain the talent and skills and so that I can outcompete my um, competition because there's this big skills shortage or skills or talent war, as we call it. So how do we make sure we keep our developer team motivated and, um, and, and retain them? So that productivity and giving them the tools they like and making them perform high, uh, strategic, high value strategic tasks by using automation and taking away those day-to-day -day, um, manual tasks was very important to boost productivity as well. So there were lots of tangible um, benefits. There was soft benefits as well. But was there anything that um, stood out to you, John? in terms of tangible benefits? Yeah, I think one of the key things was, you know, how do we shift where people are spending their time to the higher value things that we can have them work on? And so, you know, in, we've seen these waves, you know, throughout, you know, the evolution of IT where things that previously people spent a lot of time on, new technologies emerge that allow them to think higher level. And so, whereas, you know, we used to have server admins who would focus a lot on how do I make sure the hardware is all connected and running properly and not overheating. You know, when you move to cloud, you know, now, I actually take those people and I focus them more on how do I deploy things faster and more efficiently. And in the same way, you know, what I saw in some of the statistics here is, you know, people looking to see how do I make my teams more efficient by taking some of the things that before were consuming a huge amount of their time and using technology and automation to, to be able to like allow them to focus on higher value things. You know, one example that I remember thinking, thinking was you know, really a good illustration of it was that one customer, you know, we talked to their team, their ops team, and they had a person who would spend a day per week just making sure that after each deploy, the environment was, you know, re-optimized. And so, you know, that was something that was taking up a significant amount of that person's time. By bringing in software that could help to address that, that freed up a lot of that person's time to think, you know, about how do I actually, you know, scale, you know, what we're deploying, how we're getting in, into different regions and spend less time on like basically re-optimizing, you know, every time that they deploy. And so I think that was another example that tied into some of the benefits that we're seeing here. Awesome. I, it, I really like when you can connect um, tech investment to the business um, business value and that to tangible business value, right? Because people talk about business value all the time, but their KPIs are so different. Sometimes they're even competing KPIs. So what are you looking for? What are your objectives and how are you able to um, uh, realize those objectives is a very important thing. Um, 